Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Welcome to another quick shot review for Cheap Shot Entertainment, and this is episode number 268. If you're listening on the podcasting channel, we say thank you very much to uh, join us. And if you're new, you know what to do, make sure you follow that. If you're on the normal channels, the i.e., quick shot reviews on youtube then uh, thank you for joining us there and if you're not subscribed yet please do um and the podcasting channel being talk is cheap so today's movie is wicked little letters a british comedy movie starring olivia coleman and jesse buckley um depicting the crazy real life uh story it's not a story what it did actually happen in the 1920s after the uh, first world war uh, of the uh, poison letters the poison pen letters um of uh, little hampton and um it um it portrays two different types of people um one being very conservative, uh, Bible reading, um, conservative family who believe that women should know their place. And the other character played by Jesse Buckley being the Irish immigrant who people do know but blame for everything because she's not like them. Uh, a story that's been told many, many times but not in this sort of style. And, you know, being profoundly British and um, watching carry on movies and all that kind of stuff, I do miss British comedies. They're so good. And so is this one. And I get the feeling that a lot of people who have scored this uh, lower than it should be, really, in my opinion, and it is just my opinion, are people that don't really get British humour. <laughs> Yes, the F-bomb is dropped quite a few times, and perhaps a little bit too much. But uh, we are talking about a conservative person who's trying to be profane um, in, the, in the letters. Um, so, you know, it's the story of, like I say, Poison Pen Letters. It is a, a film that doesn't feel like the two-hour plus runtime because... It was so good um, that I only thought it was about an hour and a half, but uh, apparently not. But uh, yeah, it, it does. Um, it does. <laughs> it, it keeps you entertained all the way through. It never stops. Um, you you definitely it definitely creates an atmosphere where you feel for the characters. Uh, you resonate with the characters. And basically, it is uh, Rose who is played by Jesse Buckley, who gets uh, blamed for the poison pen letters, because, like I say, she's different. But it is the women of the town who then go on an investigation, because they don't believe that she's done it. And uh, the big reveal, I won't spoil, um, you know, is... It's quite fun at the end, and again, you feel for that character, and they're basically the 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 heel of this film, the antagonist. It also stars Jana Vassan playing um, the lady police officer, or just police officer, 
Joanna Scullin playing Anne, Gemma Jones playing Victoria, Malachi Kirby as Bill, Eileen Atkins as Mabel, and Timothy Spall as Edward. Um, so yes, you've got a lot of British talent in this film, and it is funny, it is heartwarming, it is heartbreaking at times, and you really get a feel for how different times were and we're talking 100 years in the past it's not that long ago how things were very different it was around the time of the suffragette movement where women were literally starving themselves to gain the vote uh, you know gain the right to vote uh, in elections and things like that which is absolutely insane and i say this to um all uh, young ladies uh, when you do get the chance to vote do vote women fought for your vote and uh, you know they, they fought hard and they lost their lives to gain that that vote so you know that is off the cusp here but you know that is the way I think of that but the film itself like I say it's set in a different time but it's done in a very very fun way uh, which depicts how women were treated but it does it in in a way that's not in your face it's you know it's history this is how things happened and you can believe this is how things happened um, it's a very original film as well not in storyline because we've had a lot of stories where you know people have been blamed for stuff and then you know uh, because they're different and all that kind of stuff but it's done in a very british way it's shot beautifully and uh, thea Sharrock has done a fantastic job with this film uh, sure to be one of those modern british classics it's cheeky it's funny it's punchy and it's sure to put a smile on your face and it's not one for the weak of heart if you do not like profanity <laughs> because that is the whole point <laughs> this these poison pen letters are very profane and that's how rose gets accused of uh, writing the letters but it also brings to light the uh, forward-thinking nature of one police officer who uses different techniques that weren't used at the time and you know were just frowned upon when you know that wouldn't stand up in court and all that kind of stuff and uh, yeah it's it's brilliant absolutely brilliant I, I was on the edge of my seat and it is absolutely wicked fun I've not heard an audience laugh in unison like that for a long time and every time I say this it's it's a good thing you know that people feel comfortable enough to laugh at funny things and that is great um with with this with this film um so yeah would i would i suggest you go and watch this film absolutely as long as you get the uh the british humor um of uh, of this film then yes absolutely go and watch it filming locations they actually filmed in little hampton in sussex as well uh which is where the um where they where the crimes took place and i did say earlier that it took um you know it was a couple of hours long it's not uh, it's just shy of two hours so you know it's a case of getting all its stuff done and being good while it does it because it doesn't need a long time to get everything done so yeah absolutely brilliant support the cinemas support this film there are big releases as well at this time but uh, i believe this one does need your attention 
Uh, you will love it. Absolutely. I am dead certain of that. But if you have seen the film, it's only just come out. If you've seen the film, let us know. If you haven't and you're planning on going to watch it, then enjoy. Uh, I've booked my next film. It is Madam Web um, with some hesitation, but there is nothing else on that I can go and see um, that's on at a decent time for me to go and see. So I'm, I've, I've given in and I've booked Madam Web. Um, so expect that review. And for every great film, there's sure to be something that you're not so keen on. Um, but uh, there you go. That is cinema, isn't it? For I love this. People might not. Same with Madam Web. Some people may love it. Um, and I haven't seen it yet. So I'm going to reserve my, my thoughts on that film. Until I've actually seen the film. And I can make a... Um, yeah, I can give some thought on it. Anyway. That is my little review of Wicked Little Letters and I hope you go on to see this one because it is very good and I will see you next time on Talk is Cheap podcast and quick shot reviews on YouTube. Goodbye. Yeah.